Today we're taking the OneNote mobile app for a spin. Once we open up the application, I am going to click on the gear icon to access my app settings. And you can see here, this is where I'll sign in. Sign in using your school email address and click next. And then you'll be prompted to put in your Office 365 password. Here you can see I'm logged in. Now I'm gonna go back to the open folder to open up a notebook. If I don't see the notebook in my recent list, I'm going to click the open more from OneDrive link. And I'm gonna open up a computer lab schedule notebook. Once the notebook opens, you'll see all of my sections along the top with each month, and then each page within the section going down the screen. So here I'm in January, and I'm gonna click on a page, and you'll see it take me right into that notebook page, and I can sign up for a lab here. To add some photos and audio recordings, I'm gonna create a new notebook. I'm gonna give it a name. Click Create. And here you see I have a new section with a new page. I'm going to go ahead and give this page a name. I'm going to give a quick description of the picture. And I'm going to find the camera icon. Once I click on the camera, you'll see I have some options. I can either insert an existing photo from my library or take a new picture. You can also take a picture of a whiteboard or a document to scan them in. And once I take my photo, you'll see at the top of my screen I have an option to crop the photo or the check mark will accept this photo and insert it directly onto the page. You'll notice the blue plus sign at the bottom here is where I can actually take a photo as well or create a new page for this section, which I'll do now. And this is where I'm going to add my audio recording. So I'm going to give it a name, click on the page, and again, my toolbar pops up. I'm going to give it a quick description. Instead of clicking the camera icon, I'm going to select the microphone icon. And you'll see as soon as I hit the microphone icon, what will happen is that OneNote will immediately start recording my voice. You can see here as it records. Whenever I'm ready, I'm going to simply click the stop recording button. And as soon as I click that stop recording button, it's going to insert that recording directly onto the page. If I click on the recording here, I can rename the file. As well as click and drag to move the audio file around on the page. You'll notice the person icon with a plus sign at the top of your screen. If you click on that, you have two options. The first option is to invite people using their email address. So here I'm going to type in the email address that I'd like to share. And I'm going to click the send button. Another way to share their notebook is by clicking on the copy link to notebook button. Once I copy the link, I can then paste the link on my website or create a QR code for quick access on a mobile device. If you're using OneNote on a school computer, you definitely want to make sure that you sign out of your OneNote account before you return the iPad. So here I'm going to click on my name, I'm going to click on my name and email address again, and click remove account. 